Hello and welcome back to uh, Lord of the Rings mod let's play with me, Xanderwitch. Um, last time we made our way back to the Shire now that we have over a hundred alignment and we have so that's one of the achievements. Um, I've been thinking a lot about my direction for this particular let's play and some of the things I'd like to do like in the long term I'd really love to get 1000 alignment. Um, and pick up some of this pipe weed while I'm here. <laughs> um, I'd also like to do some of the quests like like perform a hobbit marriage and uh, and visit all ten regions of Middle or visit at least ten regions of Middle Earth, excuse me. Uh, so that a lot of them are listed on here. But I think the first thing I actually want to do, which is not an achievement on here per se, but can help help out with some stuff is to build a house for myself in the Shire and a farm and maybe an orchard because there are some really cool trees. Now um, since last time I have updated there has been an update for the Lord of the Rings mod so I have gone ahead and updated it and um, so we may see a few changes once one I saw was I slept and when I woke up it showed me the date in in you know Middle Earth speak. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that again while in the middle, during this episode so you can see how that works. Now I think the first the thing about building a house is you kind of need some supplies and I'm pretty low on them so I think I'm gonna do some uh, first I'm gonna chop down some trees and replant them and then I'm going to go mining so this may be just kind of bare bones episode of getting getting stuff done. And um, I did at one point ask on the uh, the mod creators on Facebook about the issue with getting alignment while you're still in the Shire. And they pointed out one thing that the waypoints do make it easy to travel from region to region, which is good. And so they're really intended to be that way. I hope I'm not repeating myself from the last episode. Now that tree right there we're gonna leave it is just too awesome for words. But also that they do intend to add hostile mobs at night eventually to the Shire. So this is a, a constantly evolving mod. So we'll, and since they did update we'll just have to keep our eye out make sure we don't get killed by something unexpected. And I also don't know if you know, but I hired a Hobbit Sheriff just to get one of the achievements. Now, I imagine he would help me fight if I needed it. I don't know. I don't know if I can give him stuff or not. I should try just for the heck of it. Can I? I can right click him. I can command him. Let's see. Okay, you could put him in guard mode if you want, and I think that makes him kind of stand still. I have him on automatic teleport, so hopefully he'll do that, because I hate losing stuff. Or, you know, using, losing the units I hired because I decided to teleport somewhere. See, this looks like a... might might be a promising place to mine. Um, so, right now I've got my little hobbit hole over there that I was sharing. It's kind of the worst for wear, because it's been, um... <laughs> it looks like two hobbit holes spawned in the same place and they're kind of merged together. So I thought th this seemed like a nice little spot over here to build a house. So I'm going to gather up some supplies. I'm going to put, put the wood away and then we'll go down into the mine. So all this wood reminds me of a, the gaming mommies opening up an alternate server for the 1.8 update and I've been working on a house there and taking full advantage of the new gates and stuff in 1.8 the well the new fences you know that that all match the new wood and I made a log cabin and when I when I'm done with the interior and everything for it I will definitely make a video and give you a tour of that because it's been a lot of fun and it's been building in, in vanilla 1.8 survival on a server so it's been a lot of fun. But I have a nice log cabin with a wraparound porch and a loft and it's just been tons of fun, you know, and I go in, sometimes I can only go in in little bits and get on there and do a little here and a little there and it's been fun. And then just deciding what I'm going to build next. 
you know, and like maybe on that service server I might do a little pixel art. That's kind of a popular thing there. But I, ha I would have to figure out something that would go with my log cabin theme. Now here, I definitely want something, since we're in the Shire, I want something rustic, but I don't think I want to just like recreate a hobbit hole. So, so I have to think about, you know, maybe something, whoa, <laughs> with wood and, and stone, you know, just kind of, but I have to think about, you know, maybe I'll make, maybe I'll create, you know, it'd be really neat is to create an inn, like an old fashioned, like a tavern, not, not just the tavern like they have here already, but the kind of tavern that you would read about in a fantasy book where the characters go and they have a drink and you know but they also have have a good meal to eat and then spend the night there you know and maybe that could be my house so I wonder what these flowers are I'd probably give me blue dye or something so and who knows we might need some okay see I'm wondering is this Maybe it's safe to be out at night here. Let's plant the saplings. I'm going to plant them near the edges of the water. So that'll allow me to regrow them while still possibly uh, leaving room to build. Because I'll probably want to flatten that out. Or maybe not. Do I have any food on me? Uh, some porky chops. I sh I'm going to lay down some torches here so I know where I'm coming from. I put a little sign above that hobbit door so that I know that that's the place that I put my stuff for now. And I'm going to put some torches up here just to show that we were thinking about building over here. Now check this out. Let me see if I can find it again. Got my diamond sword. <laughs> You wouldn't fly away from me, would you, little butterfly? I am not fast enough. <laughs> there is a little quest. One one of the little quests is actually merciless. Kill a butterfly. I'm just gonna have to do this because I'm too bad at this. <laughs> I can't be merciless because those butterflies are too dang fast. Okay, why don't we, uh, I'm going to go put my stuff in the chest here in the hobbit hole, and then maybe make a few more torches and then head down into the ground and do a little mining, because I think we could use some more stone and other just basic supplies. So this is where I am keeping everything. See if there's anything I want to take with me. I think I'll leave the diamond here for now. I'll take the iron with me to make supplies and maybe a couple signs actually. We got one stack of stone now. Actually I'll take one stack of wood, one stack of stone with me. I'll take the few sticks I do have. Or I, actually I'll probably make torches of them. Um, definitely want to take the food with me. I don't have that much. Hopefully it'll last me a little while. Leave some of the rest of the stuff here. Maybe I'll make a second chest. Make a big one. Oops! <laughs> Nine chests! Didn't quite intend that. That's what I ha happens when I hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay. Don't need the sugar cane. I don't need the silver with me because I'm not really planning on traveling. Now let's go hit the Hobbit oven. Cook up those other two pork chops. Now do I have... I didn't leave any. Okay. I should only need one here. Oh, okay. It's up to down. That just seems weird. With the, with the charcoal or with the, the coal on the bottom. Okay, well that is going. I can make up some some more torches. And there is my guy who's probably going to come with me down into the mines. Ok, 
Okay, that saves me a little bit for smelting, and I'll probably find some more coal while I'm down there. I forgot I could put like one here, one here, one here, and it will cook faster, but too late now, I guess. Chicken is already cooked. I can put those chests away before I get going. Okay, I have two stone picks to start with, and I will definitely pick up, put away the chests and pick up a crafting table to take with me. Okay, I'm just gonna put away these extra chests I made. Go ahead and take this with me. That way I don't have to make one. And you know what I could do? <laughs> I could be a little thief and steal one of these hobbit ovens to take with me. There we go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Which way do we get out? How do we get out of here? here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. You coming? You can open the door for yourself, right? Right? I especially want the torches so I don't get lost because I'm going down into the ground. So. Torches on the right. Torches on the right. I'm just going to mine anything that looks useful, even if it's just tin or saltpeter. Well, actually, if that's saltpeter, I, I don't know what to do with that yet except ma make matches, and I haven't found a terrible lot of use for those right now. I may later, but it seems relatively easy to find. So I am not going to worry too much about it. But I am thinking like a two story. Um, in, you know, maybe a little stable around it. I have seen a lot of horses, so if I can, and I have slime balls, so if I, I could make leads. Oh good, there's some iron too. Yay. Iron and coal, in case you're wondering from this texture pack, it's, I'm not sure I was using this in the last episode or not, but it's Ovos Rustic Redemption. It's, it's one of my favorites. So, and I've used it enough that I'm used to the textures, like what's what, like what's coal and everything. So, I will try to point out to you what's what. Now, of course, the the Lord of the Rings ones look however they were programmed in because, you know, the mod ones were not programmed into the texture pack, of course. It's funny, I've tried my hand at just, just messing around with the textures as part of, you know, learning to maybe mod myself in the future, and <laughs> it is just... It's so much fun just to modify the side of the grass block. It's kind of silly how much fun it is because it's like, ooh, look, my grass is purple now, you know, <laughs> or whatever, you know, you can, and, and with, with a block like the grass block, which is just so prevalent all over Minecraft, then it's just, you can, by making one little change like to the color of the grass, you can just change the whole look of Minecraft. It's kind of funny. But there are a couple of free lessons online that I was trying out by, um, I think the name of the website was, uh, Homeschool Programmers or something like that. And they offer, like, a, a free PDF of, yeah, there's more saltpeter I keep getting in, I don't mean to. They offer a free PDF which, which gives you a couple, um, free lessons, like, teaching you how to do those basic things. Like, you know, start modifying textures. And it's pretty cool. You know, it's just a little fun sense of accomplishment. And then to see also how much work goes into a mod. That is just, you know, it really shows you when you have to modify each little part of a block. Then you start to realize, like, how much work really goes into modding. And that it is a big undertaking that, that these people generally do without any promise of making any money from it at all. So, it's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and get some gravel. I can always use some of that. It'll give you flint for arrows. And it's good for when you get stuck in a high place or something. Or even when you get stuck in a low place and want to get back up. It's cool to have sometimes even a stack of it. Beyond that, unless you want to make paths, I can't... I wouldn't worry about any... You know, if you want to make gravel paths, then you can get more. But if you don't, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, let's go. Let's hope this isn't just like a dead end, because 
I'd like to find some the better. Okay, there's some more iron. Can always use more iron. I was trying to think of if there would be even a purpose for me to go into the nether in this game. And I don't even know if you can do it from here. Like, do you have to go back to the normal dimension before you could do that? I do not know. Something I could look into, I guess, if I thought there was a reason to go into the nether. Because there's so many quests and stuff that you can do in this dimension that it almost seems like just extraneous to do that when there's so much to do here. Oh, this is... Ah, there! Look at that! Stir Day 24 Halamoth, Shire Reckoning 1401. So look, I know it's a new day. Well, that's kind of handy, actually. That's almost like a daylight sensor, because if I'm underground mining... And it tells me, oh, hey, it's a new day. That is very handy. So that is new, I think, with the update, because I don't remember that happening before when we were playing. So I'm glad I updated, even if just for that little thing. And this Shire is a great place to mine. Because there's not any aggressive mobs out here at night. Now, I was complaining about that before, but I was trying to get alignment. And now that I have some of it, I'm cool with it. So, Because I can get my stuff done without dying and losing my, my other stuff. Although, I think I put keep inventory on in this game. I'm just going to take that back. Since it's just a little dead end there. Now, does this go around? Okay, dead end. <laughs> Smoke rings floating through the ground. That's awesome. Is there nowhere else? Is there nowhere else? Now, let me just see. Sometimes gravel is blocking the way to somewhere else. Oh, it's blocking some iron. Sometimes, but not always. Okay, I'll get the iron, though. And then we'll go see if we can find another hole in the ground. I mean, you can dig stairs straight down. I have it. Well, not straight down, but you can dig a little staircase down. I've done that before, but just following the natural spawn of the caves usually will get you, you know, I think it's a little more efficient. Ah, oh, another bright new day in the Shire. Boy, this grass is super green. Okay. Did I see another one over here? Or is it the same one? I'm trying to try this. That looks promising. At least something to try out. Boy, but if it let me down without hurting myself, that would be better. I'm going to build myself a little stairway here. <laughs> Let's back up and start going down. There we go. So I'll put my little torch up here. Dink, dink. That means that's the way up. And we have two different ways to explore. And I hear little bats making their little noises. You know, there is the pet bat mod, of course, which I had a lot of experience, at least, trying to download and work out some quirks with last year for some kids I know. But beyond that, bats, I mean, you know, all they're good for is inventory tweaks. Fail to tri trigger auto refill. <laughs> uh, well, is that, what, what is going on? Do I need to turn that mod off? Is it going to be, or are we just having lag here? I don't know what's going on. Um, but what I was saying is that the bats, all I do is feel sorry for them because they hang around and look kind of cute, and then you accidentally kill them. And otherwise, you know, there should be something. Like, they should drop something, you know, pertinent to bats. I don't know. I just think they could be more useful. Oh, spider webs. Huh, that's interesting. Well, it's just interesting because usually you see those webs when there is a mine shaft, but I don't think there's a mine shaft anywhere around here. See? No mine shaft. Okay, let's go up the other way. Or down. No, that's where I dug out the iron. Okay. Let's see. 
here's the other way. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, is this the mine? Is this where we were before? I think it is, because there's our wonderful torches. So it all connects. Yep, here's that bat. Wait, okay, all right, all right. I'll just put a torch up here so I know I've been here before. That was a good jump. All right, that hole in the ground, not so great. Take my torches back, at least some of them. All right, let's look, let's look, let's look. Another hole in the ground? Eh, well, at least we're not having any shortage of holes in the ground. So this is gonna be Lord of the Rings, the mining episode. Okay, yeah, <laughs> having a bit of lag there, I guess, because I moved 10 feet. That's one thing about this mod, it's so big that when it's loading in new chunks, it's like, ah, oh, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna sit here for a minute. But if I had a better computer, I mean, my computer is not that bad, but it's not a gaming computer. So if it were, I may not have that issue. It's not like it's on a server. Okay, now I need to take a short break, y'all, to craft myself a new pick. What did I do with all that wood? I turned it into chest, didn't I? Oh, it's a good thing I'm close to the surface, isn't it? Now, wait a minute. Am I just being blind? I've done that before. N nope, I don't see any more wood. No. Okay, let's go chop down a tree. <laughs> hey, apple. Yay. Must be an oak tree. Might as well craft myself a new axe too while I'm at it. Okay. I need some sticks. Go down here. I'll go ahead and put that crafting table back up for a minute. Craft myself. I know the pick is not going to last long, but until I take a break and smelt some stuff, it's just what I'll have to do until I can make more iron stuff. Okay, and a new axe, because this one is going to break soon. Alright. Back into a new hole. Let's hope this one leads a little further down. Wow, you're good. Is that all that's down here? Ah, oh, I am having no luck with these holes in the ground. Okay, well, I am gonna go looking. All right, here we are. This is kind of behind the hobbit hole where I was storing my stuff. I decided to come back here and there's a nice hole. Let's figure out where it leads. I really would love some of the, like I said, uh. Is there something? Sh oh, you fell, huh? <laughs> I think it's something shooting at me. Are there skeletons down here? Yeek! But there's more iron. I'll have to make my house out of iron blocks. Now, we're getting plenty of stone, so don't, don't think this is just all fruitless mining. Because we can, like I said, something rustic. And if we get enough stone, you know, you can make stone bricks. And that would look really nice. So, and it looks like this cave does go on a little bit, at least. Should have made a shovel while I was at the crafting table. Let's see how we are on coal. Do we have a, we have a full stack, so probably don't need a ton more. Well, I'll get a little more and explore some more. Um, but yeah, in the new Minecraft, I think you can even craft like mossy stone cobble and stuff. Now, the one thing I like about this, or actually, is this, this mod, and, or this this texture pack, and another one of my favorites that I've been using, the Doctor Who texture pack, is the cobble looks a little more bricky. I know, I, it looks a little more like bricks. Oh, I'm in a spider web, darn it. Don't have shears on me, so I'll have to use those. Shears are pretty good for getting through spider webs, too, and it, for whatever reason, it does not wear down their um, durability. 
so that's nice. Whereas your sword, I think it does, so. Now, why can't I tell the difference between tin and saltpeter? That would be tin. It's not bright enough to be silver. But since it's giving me blocks instead of little piles of saltpeter, I guess it's tin. The uh, silver is a little brighter white, so. Thank you for keeping me company, Sheriff. And you fuse the tin and the copper to make bronze. Oh, I'm on an iron streak. Now, what's... Oh, and it goes further down. That's cool. I'm going to set this down. See, I think it's eh, a little more attractive than the regular Minecraft gobble. And I think I like the stone, too, because it looks kind of marbleized. Okay. Yeah, we the safest way to get down there. Probably a little gravel. Let's see. Oh, it's not that far down. Okay. Okay, I'm put my little torches up, telling me how to get back up. <sighs> and see if there's anything special down here. Huh, is this silver? I'm about to find out. You know, you could have taken the gravel elevator. I think it's more tin. No, it's more salt, Peter. Oh, darn it. Uh. One day I'm going to find that useful. <laughs> I, I guess i got to look it up on the wiki again and see if there's something more that I missed out, you know, that I'm missing. Okay, good. I like it when it keeps leading down. That's good. Although it's weird when there's flowers down here. Like, why are there flowers growing underground when there's no, like, no hole letting the sun in? It's just weird. I guess it really is a RNG, a random number generator deciding these things now. I'm not going to bother with it unless it looks like silver to me. That's what I've decided, at least as far as that white stuff goes. Now this white stuff I'll take. Now I see a little water down there. That's cool. And I certainly have enough iron left to make some buckets. Actually, I have a bucket. Cool. I have two buckets. I may want to teleport back to the surface, although I guess that's kind of cheating. And, uh, so that I could put some of my stuff away and come back and get more. But we'll see. We'll see how far this mine leads us. Okay, why do I always, why can't I tell the difference between this stuff? Ah, more of it. <laughs> I hope you don't think I'm a complete idiot. But they really, uh, they need to come up with new colors. Okay, now do I, now that down there is gold. And I think I'm going to use this. And take some water at the source block there. Which will get rid of this, which will make it a little safer to go downwards. But also, then I'll have it if I run into any lava. So we're going to take... Do we have room for gold? <laughs> Get rid of this dirt. <laughs> ah, we need iron pick. Okay, it's time for a little break. Okay, I'm going to get off real... Or just... just I'm going to make a... Oh, I, I don't need to make a furnace. I have a furnace. Now, I don't know. If, actually, I, can you smelt iron in a hobbit furnace? Let's find out. I think you can only make food in it, which means I wasted a slot bringing it down here. So let's pick it back up. Well, good nugget of information there. You can only make food in Hobbit furnaces <laughs> because Hobbits have one priority, and that would be food. So I'm going to make a regular furnace and smelt myself up some iron and as soon as I have done that, and why did I want iron, of course? I need an iron pick for that gold. I will be back. Alright, here I am. Some of the iron has smelted, and then I remembered I had some in my inventory, so went ahead and made myself a pick. I may just use this for a while, since I, I have plenty of iron. I got more in the cooker here. 
lots more as a matter of fact. And I think I am going to craft myself up another furnace so my gold can also be smelting while I'm off exploring. And we did find ourselves an honest to goodness hole in the ground here with some stuff to explore. So I will show you the, a little bit of that while we wait for our stuff to smelt. I don't really need to smelt it, but why not, you know? So, in addition to more iron, which we love. What did I do with my pick? Oh, I'm moving everything around trying to find room. So, we got some more iron. And we have lava down at the bottom. So, I will take you down and show you that. And, uh, here we go. I did a little exploring while I was waiting for the smelty stuff to smelt. And now, uh, at least this bottom way does not lead to anything. I haven't checked out the top yet. It's just a little, little bit of water down here. <laughs> and there's more. Is it? I'll make sure that's iron before I just... Let's see. Yep, it's more iron. Ah, it's Sunday. Now Sunday is Sunday. That's funny. Okay. Well, we have some obs this this nice purpley stuff down here is obsidian. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got my both my water buckets are full already. So, and if you go this way, you got a nice pretty view of the obsidian. And of course, I do not have a diamond pick, and I'm not sure. I, I would like the obsidian actually for enchantment. So if we find now this here is, I believe, lapis. Yes. So that is what that looks like. And uh, yeah, that's still that's more tin. So if, if we want to continue exploring down here, we can turn all this lovely lava into obsidian, which we can then mine later once I have a diamond pick. And I only have one diamond up in my uh, up in my chest so but it looks like this leads somewhere else which is cool um, so let's explore it and then we can come back and get our stuff out of the cooker and see if there's anything cool down here see this just goes back up so it's not going to give us any more diamonds but then it goes down again which is very cool okay so let me dig myself a little stair here now, how far down are we? Oh, 17. So, there could be diamonds nearby. I think they, like 15, 10 to 15 is the optimum. Now, let's keep ourselves from... Don't go down there! Don't do it, Sheriff! Oh, he's gonna f he just be like right into the lava. Don't want to go down there just like that. I want a nice... <laughs> I, I like, you know, being able to step down and find my way without... Kind of want the mushroom. Okay, let's look around. Ooh, look at all the spider webbies. Does not look like silver. Got, I ha definitely have more room for tin. And since I used it for armor already once, I'm going to... Who knows? Oh, welcome back. We had I had a little crash there, but fortunately I didn't lose anything. Only <laughs> except when I got back on, my little hobbit sheriff decided just to walk right into a little square of lava, and that was the end of him. So you might want to hold off hiring units until you're like actually going into battle, because it may prove to be a waste of money. Now I cut. I like the way this. Ha <laughs> ha. I like the way this um, string just spawns kind of naturally and seemingly without the spiders. Okay, now let's make sure we don't meet the same end as the sheriff. So I'm going to do that first before I attempt to mine these beauties. These are diamonds in this texture pack in case you couldn't tell. Now, how many did we get? Two. Okay, not enough for a pick, but I'm going to... I'm going to check all around it. Oops. Did I use up that pick? Okay. Ah! 
Ah, yes, I'm glad I did that. Now we can make a diamond pick and get, get some of this beautiful obsidian. There is some more lapis. Now that might come in handy for a little decoration purposes. Oops, better run, better run, better run, up, up. Oof, I almost met the same end as my sheriff did. Now what is this again? I don't remember. Ah, the sulfur. Yes, we don't, don't really care too much for the sulfur. So, let's see. Wonder if there are any more diamonds hiding out for me down here. Hee hee hee. Is that... Hmm, I think I see some in there. Yay. Okay, let's see. There we go. Definitely do not want to fall in the lava. Which is like everywhere here. Okay, now this is going to be tricky because there may be lava under the diamonds. So we're going to have to be careful about it. Maybe, let's dig around and see. Ah, oh, there's more diamond back there. What would be really cool is to get the mithril because that is a Lord of the Rings specific ore, which is really, really good. I know, I do this so that make it safer, but then you can't see as well. Ah, uh, there's some more gold up there. Not too important. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else to look for. Okay, I think I'm going to head back up to my crafting table. Uh, I'm just being sad about my hobbit sheriff who killed himself. He must have been depressed down here in the cave. Not that I'm, I'm not joking, but, well, I guess I am, but I didn't mean, ah, uh, such a sensitive subject right now, and it should be, but, um, <laughs> uh, no, he just, I, I, <laughs> The AI is not that great, I guess, on that. He, they just, he just walked into it, you know? Like he wasn't paying any attention. Okay, I hate this. I'm going to be all lost here. We can grow some mushrooms down here. Oof, my goodness. Oh, there's my two little torches. They tell me up, up, up here, up here, I think. Ha, <laughs> ha. And on the right, yep, we're going, we should be going the right direction here. So I always put my torches on the right, so if they're on the left, I'm going back the way I came. There we go. I think my crafting table is right up here. Or at least around the bend here. There it is, right up there. Okay. So... Now we have six diamonds. I'm going to make myself a nice pretty diamond pickaxe. And then I'm going to go attempt to get some obsidian just to have for a possible enchantment table. I'm trying to remember what the exact recipe is for that. I know you need diamonds and I know you need the obsidian. I don't think I'm going to need it for the another portal. It's not in my plans, so I may just go for a few of them. Maybe five just to be safe. And we can take forever to mine this. <laughs> and of course I'm going to have to toss something here, but seeds are pretty easy to come by. See, you get the obsidian so you can get the enchantment table so you can get the modification to mine faster. Because <laughs> you're like, oh gosh, this takes forever. Forever and ever to mine obsidian. Now, this cave is definitely worth a comeback because if when we need some more stuff, because it, it there are areas I didn't explore. So I think I'll put some torches around the top of it. But for now, I think 
and and the stone is going to be really easy to get to whenever I need a new stack in here. Okay, is that six? Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. So let us head back up. We got some cool stuff. And I'll be right back when we get up to the house. Or the field where we're going to make our house. And welcome back to our little hobbit hidey hole. Our little hobbit hole in the ground. Um, so the mission was fairly fruitful. We have in our chest we have two and a half stacks of stone. We got the six obsidian so we can make a crafting table. Some diamonds and of course our diamond pickaxe. Um, we also got lots of iron and coal, um, and along with some, some tin and some copper, and they are smelting at the moment, so I've kind of really taken over this place. Um, so, you know, and later, and hopefully we got more trees growing out here, yep, along the water there, so we'll be able to harvest them for some building materials, and we have our nice little mine in the back now. So that has been this episode and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit that like button I'd really appreciate it and subscribe for updates and maybe you'll actually see me get to a thousand alignment at some point although I probably won't do it all on camera because a lot of that's just grinding you know just just killing monster after monster but uh anyway we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye bye